But yeah, uh, I used to hate the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I don't hate it now. I wrote this essay like a year ago or two. So, um, sorry, I turned down the TV. I love Lord of the Rings. Okay. <clears throat> um, little boy, uh, I was around 10. I grew up watching great heroes who saved those below them. These heroes were respectable, not powerful, and would do anything for the people they care about. Which is everyone. Albeit these people are flawed and aren't exactly perfect, it felt real. Felt like I was being saved because I grew up without any friends. The DC animated universe was by far my favorite animated universe since I was a child. Watching Batman Superman fight girls and them joining the Justice League just amazed my mind as a young boy. Batman, a hero who fought but with mercy. Superman, a hero with a good heart despite all his power. Then came something I used to hate. Drawing and festering irritation and infection in my wound. Uh, her rival turned curbing empire, ruled by an all-powerful corporation. That is ruled by nothing except greed and hypocrisy, in my opinion. Disney's Marvel Cinematic Universe debuted in 2008 with the hit movie Iron Man. When I was a child, I respected Iron Man. I was fine with his existence, I admit. I actually liked him, but then these people I tend to not like very much. Oh, sorry, sorry, uh, these fans, right, right, fans, would say, Iron Man would only kill Batman, and Star Wars better, are so relatable. I'm like, what? Why are you bothering something like that? I'm sure, that's your opinion, but such end games would be completely up to the right. You guys aren't writers, you guys are fans. You write up a story then. No, you read a story, they replied, so I did. And that, it's, it's not a great story. It's just a story, but it's how I prefer it to be. First story came out 2015 around the height of the Marvel Cinematic Universe where I would write Batman stories of a lot of hatred for their main rival since Marvel, albeit having an amazing story with great characters in my opinion. People online would be in turn criticized and therefore great things I've ended up loving. Just the Um, it's kind of like, um, it's like a bunch of friends around you repeatedly saying that you first love, your first love sucks and you could be better off with MCU than DC, but I love DC, get it? My argument is always that I love DC either way, because I grew up with DC. Try and watch some Spider-Man films and I love the X-Men films, but these people, not all the people online, but even my own friends would bully the thing I love that I ended up hating what they love in turn. So I ended up hating the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I'm sorry. I am bored and was disgusted with how people were treating what I love. I hated it simply because it destroyed my feelings for a certain franchise. They weren't even hating for any other reason other than the fact that it isn't what they were expecting. No, they just hated it because of what the company gave them. I mean, well, enjoyed it. It's new, it's different. And people still hated it because it wasn't a theme park, really. It was dark, really, and nihilistic, but with a glimmer of hope. And I loved it. Then these critics, these dudes with tinfoil hats claiming to have sane minds would logically and rationally explain why this is better than this. That I would not understand since these critics are unable to create their own stories themselves and rather than create, they destroy others' works for their entertainment of others. What do they destroy? What gives you the right to judge? 
um, such creations if we could, can create. No wonder critics loved Oppenheimer so much. No wonder you destroy because you can write or create with the fingers of yours, except for weapons. Critics such as in YouTube or critics in websites seem to think they have some sort of place to speak. I mean, they do, but do you really? So all they create is content built on criticism. It can be good, I will give you that. It can be constructive. The problem mostly lies with how you crush the exact same thing and people on the platform tend to jump on the bandwagon to continue destroying what I liked. It's like mob mentality. When I watch the reactors, they seem to like it. But it's fun, enthusiastic even. When I see YouTube critics or website critics, it's filled with nihilistic approaches toward one movie. Why? It isn't really funny. Sure, comedy is objective, but it's quite sad content, right? Being so negative all the time. Do I have a place to speak such blasphemous words? Probably not, but technically no. He's, I'm not as successful as the, the fool who created Phase 4 of the MCU. I don't build the lightsaber Mickey has that he uses to be the Darth Vader of the world, but if the world is so incoherently chaotic that these dudes who think they have some sort of power over some kind of money and deciding what the fans want still have power, then I have a place to speak. Do you have power? Because if they do so, they are not just as bad as the companies who destroy what you want. What if the person, what if the reason that the company did so is because they thought you wanted this. Look at Palpatine's returning rise of Skywalker. You wanted it. The audience who saw him on the stage cheered. I remember that day in Comic Con. Then why do you scream louder when the movie came out? I hate that movie as well. He asked for it. So what does that make you? And then some guy with a tie and a hat who claims to be nostalgic. While reviewing things that came out three years ago or some bearded with guy with glasses and spiky hair who claims to hate bad writing without any popular writing or some guy that under misunderstood Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. These are the people that companies listen to. Yes, these people. These companies listen to their opinions, not yours. They claim to be the speech of the fans, but question that. How do they know what you think? Sorry about that. <laughs> what if you disagree with the fact that Deadpool 2 was a good movie, or you actually liked last year's The Flash, or you actually disliked Spider-Verse 2, or She-Hulk was actually a good series, or you think Han Solo shot first? What if their claim that this is the truth, and this is what the public thinks, is actually what they think? What if their claim, what if they care what... Uh, I don't care what some loud shout says and all know what nowadays screams of agony are louder than the tears of joy. My answer take everything with a grain of salt after all the fool smart enough to know what you really love is you. Take everything with a grain of salt. It took me a while to finally understand what I once loved is in the past. It could come back, but for now, the world hates it. What you love, and you have to accept that, what I love. The world may dislike Phase 4 and probably even Phase 5, but the world will keep watching Marvel. The world will keep hating DC. Why? Because the world is real. Humans are able to decide what they want as one people, and that's okay. Because if we weren't... We wouldn't mean anything now, would we? Now that's ironic. The fact that we can't decide on anything as one people means we have individual purposes in life. Having meaning because of such stupid... God, I hate Marvel. But if it's any consolation, instead of ending this all in a bad note, there's always hope. DC, Marvel, Star Wars, the works of fiction, but I grew up, I grew to love each of them. Despite their flaws. Yes, even Marvel. When you hate something, hate it. When you love something, love it. 
However, please have your own opinions. Basically, because you're allowed to love something without listening to what others say and or do. Because their opinions is just that, an, op an opinion. They'll call me a pinko or a right winger or liking this or that, but I don't fucking know what that means. <laughs> no, is that some type of sandwich? And that pisses me off. That failure to listen to them, that inability, pisses them off. That failure to listen to them, that inability to comprehend what they're saying, mute them even. Because these people who tell you what you think, what you should think, well, I'm one of them. But I damn well know that you should be free and not listen to me too. Listen to no one except your heart. But it comes to fiction. She don't just wallop out and just do bad guy stuff because it's your nature. Hell nah, dude. I'm talking about your opinions on art. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So look at that art. Look at it thoroughly. Look at it. Look at it! Re. Can I I'm whispering right now because it's night and it's embarrassing. In the end, fiction is fiction. Could have plot holes, incomprehensive continuities, and terrible plot holes, and sometimes things that can ruin your love for it. But that's fiction. That's fiction. Love it or hate it, I don't care. Shut up and eat your sandwich. Bye.